like a fatty rooster. <laughs> well, well what, Latrell? Oh, how you doing, Sheik? I'm fine. Where's the stove? On Mama, where it belongs. Ooh-wee. Look at all this food. Just doing this out of spite, Lavonda Jean. Mama's gonna look like a fool wearing that fur and all this heat. No, Lita came by and brought a tuna casserole and I refrigerated it. She's real worried how this is gonna affect y'all's friendship. She kicked GW out and I give her some value. And that's sweet. You mean it's true? <laughs> of course it's true. There's a police record on it and everything. Why wouldn't you think it was true? You know, this ain't gonna affect our friendship. Well, I told her that, but she's real worried. Uh, you ought to go by and see her. I can't believe it. Did they arrest you, Debbie? For what? Leaving two wooden legs in the wrong place? <laughs> no. They just had to investigate, you know, given the circumstances and all. I read the coroner's report. Mama hit her head on the sink, and the blow caused her brain to be flooded with blood, and she internally hemorrhaged to death. <sighs> Subdural hematoma is what they called it. Oh, Bless her heart. They say she never suffered. Well, I just think sister felt sort of cooped up all those years with your daddy. You know how he was. She just, you know, had needs. Needs? Yes, needs, Latrell. Some of us have needs. It runs in this family. Although... I'm quite convinced it must have skipped a gene or something when you was born. <laughs> I have needs too. I have, you know. I just don't make mine public. Well, I don't recall any of mine being made in a public place, Latrell. Unfortunately, I can't say the same. <laughs> <laughs> you are awful. Guilty. <laughs> One and only mama has died. A tripping over two wooden legs and hitting her head on the sink in a seedy motel room where she was committing adultery. You all are laughing. I don't think it's funny. Oh, the trail. No, leave me alone. I think you're gonna back me on this. Well, I'm sorry, hon, but I believe all these decisions ought to be made by sister's kids. I just decided that, just decided it right this very minute on the spot. <laughs> Fine. Well then, I should be in charge and I should make all major decisions. Bullshit. <laughs> we should all get an equal vote. Sissy, you ought to get a vote too. You've always been more like a sister to us than an aunt. I don't really want a vote. And brother boy should get a vote. Of course, it's hard to vote when you're locked up in a loony bin. I can't argue with that. Would you stop? I have enough on my mind without you bringing up Brother Boy. Mm, dead. Got out. Don't know how. Dead. Faggot. <laughs> you <bugger>. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. Just ignore him, honey. <clears throat> I know I do. Send him in, please, Yes, ma'am. It'll all turn out, sweetie. Well, I did it. I walked right down that hall without my hair on. I feel naked, <laughs> but I did it. How are you, Dr. A? Oh, good for you, Earl. Oh, I'm fine. Sit, please. That main security guard bumper was cat calling at me, but I did exactly what you assigned me to do. I came in here with one less item of female attire. That is, if you can count a wig as attire. Good for you. I'm so proud of you. Well, thank you. I washed and set this an hour before my appointment, so I'd have just enough time to dry it up under my portable, but I would not have time to finish fixing it, so I'd have to bring it here to my session to put the finishing touches on it. Means is I got a show after this in the rec room. Can't disappoint my fans. They're crazy, but they're loyal. <laughs> They're always there. Maybe that's because they're locked up and don't have anywhere else to go. That was a joke. Okay. I caught your last show. Ooh, a little bit out of control. 
Usually I perform after the patients have been medicated. If you talk to Nurse Jackson, tell her that was a much better system. I'd sure appreciate it. I'll see what I can do. This is a big step, Earl. Very big. You coming in without the wig on? I believe we have made some progress. Well, I gotta tell you, I feel a little bit like a whore in church. You look a little bit like one, too. <laughs> that was just another little joke. No, oh, come on. <laughs> No offense. None taken. Listen, Dr. Eve, how long is this gonna take? It's a regular session, about 45 minutes. No, no, no. This whole de-homosexualization thing, because it just... Seems to be going at a very slow pace. Well, Earl, you really haven't been participating in your own recovery. I don't have a magic wand. I do. I'm in the back of my room somewhere. I got it when I was little. I used to pretend that I was Glenda the Good Witch. I ordered Earl! What? Could we please just stay with our session this time? So, so. But you know, Dr. A, I resent. I resent you saying that I am not participating in my own recovery. I walked right down that hall without my hair on. Came in here looking like something like cat drug in. Yes, I know. And that's good, but Earl, in three months, 68 sessions, this is your very first effort. Well, I don't like to rush into things. And in my own defense, you did say I have a severe case of homosexuality. Amen. <laughs> one of the worst I've ever seen. And with <laughs> transvestism, well, it's very, very complicated. Well, I'm well aware of that, Dr. Eve. Now, did you try my masturbation exercises? Yes, I did. How did that go? Well, I... I did exactly what you asked me to do. I started masturbating by fantasizing about a man. I, I thought about Wardell from back home. Of course you did. Then, I switched to a woman. Good. Good! Well, at first, I, I couldn't decide who to use. I thought about using Tammy Wynette, but I thought it did not seem right. I mean, you know, with her gone, it just, it's evil and wrong. Well, Earl, fantasies are very healthy. Well, not with dead people. But there doesn't have to be anything evil or wrong about sex. Well, that's not what my mama told me, Missy. I miss my mama. Um, I haven't seen mama in six months and four whole days. My sister Lavonda's been coming out here to see me. Yes, I know. We've had several conversations, and we need to talk about your mama, but not till the end of the session. My sister Lavonda's the one to get me out of here. Well, I know that, but you're not ready yet. Well, when will I be ready? I've been here for 23 years. <laughs> Brother Boy thought he was Tammy Wynette the last time I seen him. <laughs> about a year ago. Before that, it was Loretta. <laughs> Now, didn't he used to do Kitty Wells, too, way back when? Yeah. Oh, my God. I had forgotten about that. It wasn't God who made honky-tonk angels. <laughs> that is a good song. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody ought to redo that. I believe that Trisha Yearwood could just sing this shit out of that song. You eat with that mouth, too? Mostly. <laughs> Loretta was always my favorite, though. I swear, in that get-up and that big old white gown, Brother Boy was her spitting image. You know, Sissy Spacek could not hold a candle to Brother Boy's Loretta. Mm -hmm. No, she could not. When he'd pretend to sing along to those records, you almost forgot. Lord, he could tear up. You ain't woman enough to take my man. I gotta tell you, about the only thing that has kept me sane has been my career. My country queens, Kitty and Loretta, and Tammy came along. Lord, I felt like I had found my soulmate. I followed her rise all the way to the top. She had such a rough life. Oh, mm -hmm. illness after illness and financial woes. George Jones was the drunk. Oh, tortured. Genius. Earl. Alexander. Earl! Whatever happened to rest in peace? Just dug her up. Earl, please! 
You always do this. 